Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you Mongoose Stance Pro Scooter. I'm going to be telling you all the good things about it and all the bad things about it. So, let's start with the basics. Okay, so let's start with the basics. This scooter has orange. It is orange and gold. It has a clamp that is gold. Um, it is iron fully. And... It does not have a piece of aluminum, I'm pretty sure. Maybe, every, yeah, everything. Maybe the wheels are aluminum. I'm not really sure how to tell. This is how the metal sounds. And then here's how the aluminum. No, I think they're both metal. This one is good. I like it. And here are the other real hot rolls. And some cool thing about this is that it has pegs. I haven't seen a scooter without pegs. The arcade one has pegs, and that one is pretty expensive. It's like $99 on Amazon. Here are the other pegs. Right, other pegs. And so for these pegs, they are inside. They're hollow, and they have an inside. Then you can see them there. So after I put them down, the grip tape is orange, too. It's pretty worn out. It says Stance Pro. Okay, for the good... For the good things about this scooter is that it is it has pegs and it also has wheels 100 millimeter wheels and i think they are aluminum i'm not really sure the the cramp is triple it has three three and the grip the the grips are super good because they have wires i mean not wires you can screw them on i will show you Oh, the grips, you can screw them on. Here's the pin. So, I will, I will tell you five bad things about it. And, yeah. So, my brother's riding right now. He has the Mad Gear Car Elite. And maybe we're going to be comparing it in our next video. But today, it's just about our, my scooter, the Mongoose Stance Pro. Okay? So, okay, five bad things about my scooter is that one, 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 it is very heavy, it is very, very heavy, and here, right, here is my brother is next to it, some bad things about these is that the bars twist like on a razor foldable scooter, which is not good. Okay, uh, back to a mine. Yeah, so for ours, maybe it's that the forks are standard. They don't look that cool. That's two. Now three. Is that maybe that the grip tape comes off easily? I, you can see that I already had it peeled off mostly. Okay. Four. Maybe is that when it is heavy and when it falls, see, look, look, I have more grip tape back here. Okay, so it's so heavy that when it falls, it gets scratched a lot, and that's not good. Nobody likes when their scooter gets scratched. And another thing is that this, like I told you, comes off not doesn't come off but look it is kind of like comes off and i'll my brother will demonstrate what happens when that happens like now bump it see you hear that you hear that noise do it again so this goes up and down and hits on the bottom one that's not good I just screw it back on okay then Oh yeah, and this, if you don't screw it on properly, it starts moving, which is not fun. I, I, I bunny hopped a stick before, and it moved, and I almost died, literally. But look at my brother's. My brother's grips are so good. He have like the mag here in the back. Yeah. Show us one of your best tricks. He's just gonna have bunny hop. Oh, cool. Okay, well, those are the... Four, not five things about my scooter that are not so good.
Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment. See you later in our next video.